Brian, let's switch gears now, talk about another story that's making some waves about the issue of anti-Semitism. Democrats are preparing to push Kevin McCarthy and Jim Jordan to essentially rescind their invitation to Robert Kennedy Jr. to testify before a House Select subcommittee this week. And it all comes after Kennedy, who's a candidate, he's thrown himself into the ring for the Democratic nominee, made these comments obtained by the New York Post. Let's take a listen. There's an argument that it is ethnically targeted. COVID-19 attacks certain races um, disproportionately. COVID-19 is targeted to attack uh, Caucasians and, uh, and, uh, and uh, black people. The people who are most immune are Ashkenazi Jews and, uh, and Chinese. And but not, we don't know whether it was deliberately targeted at that or not. But there are papers out there that show the you know the um, the racial and ethnic differential <laughs> and the impact. So Kennedy there basically pushing this conspiracy theory that COVID is targeting certain groups. He responded on Twitter saying, the New York Post story is mistaken. I have never ever suggested that COVID-19 virus was targeted to spare Jews. That's the quote I'm reading. Um, Ryan, what has the reaction been from Republicans to this? Well, Republicans have said that they don't agree with what Robert F. Kennedy Jr. had to say, but that's not enough to stop them from giving him a pretty high-profile platform uh, to appear on this subcommittee uh, on the weaponization of government. And the Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, was pressed on that earlier today, and this is how he defended the idea of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. appearing before the Congressional Committee. Take a listen. Your question about um, RFK. I disagree with everything he said. The hearing that we have this week is about censorship. I don't think censoring somebody is actually the answer here. I think if you're going to look at censorship in America, your first action to censure them probably plays into what the, some of the problems we have. So, Kristen, the, the short answer here, they don't like what he said, but they're not going to take away his platform to say things like this and others at this hearing later this week. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.